Welcome children to the video lectures of Social Science Standard 9th. Today we are going to start a new lesson from our civics portion that is chapter number 12 Indian Democracy. Now in standard 8 you have already studied some of the basic of the democracy. Democracy is basically people's rule. Okay and it has come from the greek word demos and krotos demos means people and krotos is rule so indian democracy means indians people's rule now you know that india is a second largest country population wise and if you see india is the biggest democracy in the world means it is the country where people's rule is there. Elections are held. We choose our leaders, right? We cast vote. All these things are part and parcel of our democracy. So we'll see about this into the chapter. So without wasting time, let us start. India has the highest number of voters see india has the highest number of voters in the world population wise india is second sorry population wise india is largest democratic country in the world okay if you see population wise then india is largest china is the country most populated country but it is not a democracy okay rather it is a communist country okay so india population wise is the largest democracy in the world this amazing democracy is more than six decades old now it's almost seven decades old during this period india have there have been many political ups hills and ups downs okay? there have been a lot of ups and downs into the indian democracy the indian democracy is sustained due to the dedication and insight of the citizen okay why it has remained intact till it is due to the dedication and insight of the citizen we shall study in detail the characteristics features of the indian democracy into this particular chapter elections in democracy now elections are an integral and most important part of a democracy without elections the democracy cannot be said okay if there is no elections there is no democracy you can say okay in the world many country have democracy see many countries still have democracy in spite of democracy there exists difference in governance of this country okay there is a difference in the governance of ruling of the country in a democracy a voter cast a vote a voter gives his vote the right to vote remains the same in each democratic country through the country's governance may vary. See, the caste right to vote remains almost same. Means each person's vote is counted one. Okay. The democracy thrives through the voting process of the voters during the elections. How does democracy continue? Through the voting process of the voters. Our country has a parliamentary system. We know about this our country has a parliamentary system parliament is the national institution representing people okay we know that in parliament there are two houses the upper house and the lower house the upper house is known as Rajya Sabha while the lower house is known as Lok Sabha and the people who are sitting there are representatives of the Indian citizens the parliament of India consists of the president the vice president Rajya Sabha and the Lok Sabha. So you can say they are the part of it. The President, remember it, the President, the Vice President, Rajya Sabha and the Lok Sabha. So the Parliament is consisting of it. As mentioned earlier in the chapter, Rajya Sabha is the upper house of the Parliament while Lok Sabha is the lower house of the Parliament. Right. The state has the legislative assemblies each state also have legislative assembly there also there is upper house in certain states by lower house in each and every state okay the upper house is known as vidhan parishad while the lower house 
is known as Vidhan Sabha. Some state have legislative councils. Okay, they are known as Vidhan Parishad. Well, legislative assemblies are known as Vidhan Sabha. A voter is at the center of forming of Rajya Sabha, Lok Sabha, and legislative assembly and legislative council. So, voter is the main person for the formation of Rajya Sabha or the Lok Sabha and legislative assemblies or legislative council in our country all the governing bodies are elected through voting see this is very important and that's why only i told you that voting is the most important thing in democracy the democracy is realized by elections okay so you can say democracy and elections are both two side of the same coin next see democracy and the voters okay a voter is very important in a democracy. Our country has universal adult suffrage. Universal adult suffrage means a person who is 18 and above can cast a vote. Say, a person of 18 years or age or above who is enlisted in the voter list can cast a vote. Right? So, his name should be into the voters list. Then he can cast a vote. A person who has not declared bankruptcy. Okay? or is not mentally unstable can vote without any discrimination right who is not declared bankruptcy bankruptcy means who's legally he is not having any money or he has taken a loan like Vijay Malia and Meul Choksi and others and he has declared himself a bankrupt then cannot vote or he is mentally instable then only he cannot vote otherwise he can vote without any discrimination in our country the constitution guarantees right to vote say constitution guarantees a right to vote even amidst illiteracy if you are even if you are illiterate poor or many other similar issues you can vote that is a guarantee given by the constitution okay? the system of universal adult suffrage is based on the principle of one person one vote understand and remember this the it is dependent on one person one vote means one person's vote will be counted one okay even if that person is the prime minister of india or the president of india or a beggar sitting outside on the road everyone's vote will be considered equal and the value of each and every vote will be same it is the duty of every citizen to vote without greed or fear so it is our duty okay a voter should be aware and vigilant of his right he should be aware at the same time he should be knowing about his own right the constitution has provided a right to vote to each citizen without discrimination he has provided this right to vote to each and every person without any discrimination of caste creed religion or either addiction okay or education okay? without any kind of uh, discrimination you can vote voting is an important process in democracy as i already told you voting is the most important process in the democracy in our country there is a universal adult suffrage voting is a right as well as duty understand this okay voting is a right as well as duty it can be asked into give reason every voter should exercise the right to vote and that's why each and every voter should exercise this right to vote next elections the foundation of democracy elections are told the foundation the base of the democracy without elections the democracy cannot sustain or it cannot live okay election is the foundation of democracy a festive environment is seen during elections people enjoy it the people can evaluate their representative during elections any person who has the prerequisite prerequisite means necessities okay what is needed then your list name should be into the voter list you should require any of the identity that is told by the election commission then you can vote to contest the election can be so candidate belonging to political parties as well as independent candidate who do not belong to any political party can contest the election see there are political parties who have their uh, candidates at the same time there are independent candidates also who contest the elections in an election the winning candidate of any party or belonging to a coalition party of party comes to power okay now you know this 
I'll tell you the meaning of collision. Now, what is collision? Sometimes it happens that a single party doesn't get uh, required amount of majority. So, what it has to do? It has to take support of other parties to get the number of majority, and that is known as collision. Collision is groupism. Okay, so sometimes when the candidate or a party doesn't get enough votes, then they take help more than one party get together and form the government. Okay, what is happening right now in Maharashtra and many other states. In a democracy, only with the support of people one can reach to power. In our democracy, parliament is the apex body. Remember this. Parliament is the apex body body okay and the basic foundation block is gram panchayat see the basic is gram panchayat so you can remember this okay the basic formation is gram panchayat so gram panchayat if you if you can draw a, a pyramid then parliament will be at the top while gram panchayat will be at the bottom so the root is gram panchayat while the top is parliament okay elections are also held in institutions of self governing bodies like gram panchayat taluka panchayat and district panchayats candidates of these institutions of local self governing body are chosen through elections elections are conducted in municipality in towns and municipal corporations in cities okay so self governing bodies Okay, like the Gram Panchayats, Taluka Panchayat and District Panchayats also have elections. At the same time, local self-government bodies like the municipalities and municipal corporations also have the elections on regular basis. Election is the like lifeline of national democracy. Remember this and this can be into your question. Elections is the lifeline of a nation's democracy. Okay, so this can be the question and the top is the answer elections are very important for public and political parties as well as for candidates election is the barometer of democracy see again this is the same question or the same statement that can be asked in a different way okay, election is a barometer now what is barometer barometer is an instrument to measure the atmospheric pressure okay so elections are a way to find out that which side the public is which elected uh, candidates the public wants to rule them okay elections provide an opportunity to voter to evaluate the contesting candidates if a candidate have not worked properly then people will not vote for him and at the same time if he has worked properly then people will cast better votes and good vote for against him elections usher usher means enters into new political setup of political views many times new political parties come to power due to the elections elections give a picture of country's social economic environment elections decide the future of the government elections decide the future of the government elections are considered and contested by political parties independent candidates as well as coalition of the political parties See, sometimes a single political party contest on its own there are individual in candidates who contest the election at the same time there are coalition of the parties means group of parties who uh, get together and fight the elections like it is like in the center right now the NDA that is National Democratic Alliance is a group of various parties led by BJP is in the center okay at the same time the opposition is UPA United Province Progressive Alliance which is in the opposition right now so that is a coalition of the parties okay? in parliamentary democracy the party or a coalition of party have majority of winning candidates from the government okay so any political party or a group of party which has more winning candidates from the government the power is obtained as well as maintained by the support of people again very important the power is obtained and maintained by the support of the people without the support of the people the political party cannot remain into the power and that's why people are the most important aspect of 
the elections elections being soul of a democracy it is essential that it needs to be transparent as it is the soul of the democracy it needs to be transparent and that's why there is a separate election commission being held which is an you can say autonomous body which works for the transparent and fair elections every time it has to do the work so in this particular video lecture we'll keep till here